loss, I walked away with so much more victory and the victory mindset than I think I could have even I had won the fight. Like honestly, looking back on it now, I learned so much more from those losses. They elevated me in every single way, and especially when it comes to being humble and understanding how hard it is to lose shit that matters to you. I yeah. worked so hard for that. I put every all my eggs in one basket, and it felt like my life was ruined. So I empathize with people who maybe have gone through bankruptcy or who have um, – you know, gone to, gone to jail or lost their job or this or that. It's like, and I just know what feeling like hitting rock bottom is, no matter how hard you've been working for something. I know what, and you know, just to lose it life in those moments that really matter. And they feel like it's, it's the end all be all. And then to be able to still move through that and find some light at the end of the tunnel, you know, and that wasn't the only big pickup or roadblock, but it was one of the ones that, shaped me in such a big way that I will always be grateful and carry that sense of gratitude for the opportunity to be shaped in that moment. You know, that was top to bottom, very inspiring. What I want to point out to people from what everything that you just said, because you said it twice, and I really want to make this something that people listen to. So I'm going to bring it up again. When you said that you lost, but you won. Because in everything that we do, when you take an L on the surface, if you have the right attitude and you learn from that and use that to figure out a way that you actually won and then that, let that fuel you to move forward, that's when you start actually making progress. If you just keep win, 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 you never really win in totality because you never learn how to really grow from that. And when you have the attitude after something bad happens and you let that let you grow and you never actually lose, that's how you not only help yourself, but inspire others. I And what you just said, I had the whole world in my hands in my 20s. And I when I tell you I lost everything, I lost everything freedom, everything. And I had to start from scratch, like pure scratch. So I know what you're talking about. And when I can, when I can put a message out and somebody like you, where it will resonate with everybody, I want to spotlight that in a major way. So thank you, not just for me, but for everybody and allowing me to help put out your message to try to inspire people that no matter what happens, there's always a way to use that and to learn from it. And there's a reason why those things happen. So I thank you for giving that story and putting that verbiage in there because it's a huge, huge deal what you said. Thank you. No, I appreciate you highlighting that. And I think I kind of just, I glossed over it and really didn't realize that that is such a driving point. That is such an impactful part. And that's not to say that when you lose things that matter to you, that you just wake up the next day happy as ever. No. no. I was crushed. I was devastated. It was felt like my whole life had been ruined. And I know that that's like, oh, how can that be? It was just a fight. It was just, it, but it was everything to me because it was such an uphill battle to get there. And then I had this huge rivalry and I felt like I was meant to win that fight. Mm -hmm. But now I realize I wasn't. And I had to be okay with that because I gained so much more about life experience and life knowledge and empathy empathy is such a powerful tool to have and to be able to lean on to be able to be empathetic towards other people and understand what it feels like to just take hard losses mm -hmm. um and i grieved i mourned i was sad i cried and cried and i was so frustrated because i had lost my world title and I thought that maybe I had lost every opportunity to really become something um, and go to the UFC. And I just didn't know. And I remember that week was really, really tough. I felt, you know, you feel like you let down a lot of people around you too, because people start to invest in you. They start to, to, to care, you know, your trainers, your training partners, your gym, your mom, your dad, they're flying there. They're coming to support you. And 
when you lose, sometimes that's the hardest thing to face, not just the loss, but the feeling of losing for everybody else. It's just manifests and it becomes so heavy and suffocating. And so in that moment, I was so broken. I was sad. I cried. Um, but I got through it. And I guess I do want to drive that point home too. That it doesn't mean that the process is easy. It doesn't mean it feels good to lose things. It doesn't mean that it's going to feel like it's good or right or going to be good in the end. It doesn't. It feels like shit and you're going to feel like shit and you're going to feel terrible and you're going to feel like nothing will ever be right again. And you're going to feel like it's hopeless. And you can maybe even question whether you can get through it or you still belong here or your worth or your value. You do. And it will. So you just have to have faith. Faith is believing in something without having proof. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, you have to have faith that it will, you will come out better for it on the other side. And sometimes that's all that you have because you don't have proof. You mm -hmm. don't know for sure, but it starts with making that decision, whether you're going to have faith, whether you're going to choose yourself, whether you're going to believe in yourself. You know, and I think back to my mom's voice every time you can, like you will, you can, and you will. And that's really a, something she instilled in me young. And I think I've always carried that thought, even in my darkest moments, even in the most challenging moments, when I questioned my worth, I questioned my validity, I questioned my value, I questioned my reason for life. I questioned all of it. And at points, I really thought that maybe my life wasn't worth living anymore. I had really tied my identity to my value as a fighter. And when I lost, it really felt like I was nothing but a loser. I had nothing to contribute. And I realized now it was short-sighted, but it, I had to get through those losses and move through that. But each one was just like this devastating blow that I didn't know exactly how to move through. And um, it's just remembering that you can and you will.